Blood flows through all of our bodies and is connected to nearly every medical field there is. In this video, I'm going to show you the medical terms for blood and how to pronounce them correctly so you can succeed in your career in English. Let's go. Hi, I'm Jo from Specialist Language Courses. We are the world's leading medical English provider, so you are in the right place. Make sure you stay to the end of the video because we've got a gift for you. And if you would like more help with your medical English, check out the links below. We've got the perfect course for you. Let's start with a quiz. A phlebotomist is a technician who takes blood samples, a lab assistant who tests blood samples, or a doctor who analyzes blood tests. The answer is A. Hemoconcentration is caused by A, blood concentrating in one place, B, blood concentrating around the tourniquet, or C, a decrease in blood plasma volume. The answer is C. Venipuncture is another term for A, blood test on veins, B, taking blood samples from a vein, or C, making veins stand out well. And the answer is B. So how did you do? Let's take a look at some terms relating to blood. Artery, blood vessel, capillary, vein. Let's practice the pronunciation. Listen and repeat. Artery, blood vessel, capillary, vein. And can you match the terms to the Latin and Greek prefixes? Pause the video and try now. And here are the answers. For artery, we have arterio, which is both Latin and Greek. Blood vessel, we have the Latin term vaso and Greek term vasculo. Capillary, we have the Latin term capillaris. And vein, we have Latin vino and Greek plebo. So now let's take an even closer look at some medical terms for blood. Do you know these terms? Match the terms to the definition. And here are the answers. Arteriosclerosis is a thickening and hardening of the arteries. Capillary refill is the measure of return of normal colour after applying pressure to the fingernail. Phlebitis is inflammation of a vein. Phlebotomist is a technician who takes blood samples from a patient's vein. Temporal arteritis is inflammation of the arteries leading to the temples. Vascular dementia is decreased intellectual function caused by cerebrovascular damage. Vasodilation, widening or stretching of a blood vessel. And venovenostomy is the anastomosis or surgical joining of two veins. But can you pronounce the terms? My top tip for pronunciation is to mark the stressed syllables. Now practice. Listen and repeat. Arteriosclerosis. Capillary refill. Phlebitis. Phlebotomist. Temporal arteritis. Vascular dementia. Vasodilation, venovenostomy. Before we continue, if you'd like to learn more terms like these, check out our course, Medical Terminology. It's packed full of terms to help you succeed in your career, including more on blood with pronunciation, medical vocabulary and activities to help you remember. The link is below. 
Here are some more medical terms for blood. Notice the Latin and Greek terms which make up many common medical words. For example, hema, hemoglobin, a blood protein which transports oxygen. Coagulare, anticoagulant, substance which prevents blood clotting. Plasma, we have plasmapheresis, it's a therapeutic plasma exchange to purify blood. Thrombosy, we have thrombocytopenia, abnormally low platelet count, and leukocytes. For example, leukocyturia, the presence of white blood cells in urine. Some of those terms were quite tricky to pronounce, so let's practice. Listen and repeat. Hemoglobin. Anticoagulant. Plasmapheresis. Thrombocytopenia. Leukocyturia. And don't forget to mark the stress syllable. Which words did you find the most difficult to pronounce? Let me know in the comments below. And congratulations on getting to the end of the video. We have a free handout for you with all the terms from today's video. Simply write artery in the comments below and we'll send you a link. And if you want to know more about blood and phrases to use when explaining a blood test, check out this video here. See you in the next video. Bye. Blood flows through nearly every part of our body and is connected to almost all medical fields. But do you know? So you are in the right place. <laughs> what next? And congratulations on getting to the end of the video. We have a free handout of... Uh, and if you'd like more help with your... Uh,